Welcome to another episode of Mexican The Kitchen. For this recipe, we're going to use quite a lot of lime juice. I'm going to use seven limes, cut them in half, and just squeeze everything into a glass. Of course, the amount of limes you need will depend on how juicy your limes are, how big they are, and how much fish you're using. What I would usually do is buy a bit of extra limes, and then you can use the leftovers for some cocktail for your beer, or maybe make some lemonade. I'm doing this manually, but if you have a squeezer or something that helps you, of course you can use it and it's going to be way easier. After squeezing all my limes, I have about two thirds of a small glass and this should be enough, so I'm going to put it away and start with the fish. For this recipe, I'm using 600 grams of salmon, but this one comes with the bones, so for removing them, you're going to take a knife and run it against the direction of the bones. You will notice that they start popping out a bit more. And then you can take some simple tweezers and start pulling them up. It's not very difficult, you need some nice tweezers, but it's quite simple to just take everything out. Once you remove all the bones, I would recommend that you run your fingers through the whole thing for a while and try to make sure there's no other bone in there. So now that I cleaned my salmon and I can start cutting it, I'm going to go ahead and start slicing it. What I did was cutting my salmon into smaller pieces you will need a quite sharp knife to make this process way, way easier. It doesn't really matter how you cut your salmon. What I try to do is to slice it into thin slices, try to make it as even as possible. Everything I try that is the same size, because that will make our cooking way more even and way nicer. Once my fish has been sliced, I'm going to put everything into this bowl. Some people put it straight into the container where they will serve it. I don't like it, I prefer to have it here because it's easier to mix and then we can move it to wherever we want to serve. Here I will add my lime juice. I'm not going to use the whole thing, I'm using about two thirds of my lime juice. I'm reserving some for something else later. But now I have everything here and I'm going to start mixing it. Try to mix it really nicely. Here I can see I left some of the skin, so I'm just going to remove that. But make sure you mix everything. And this lime is going to make the cooking for us. This, you can see the fish has immediately started changing its color. It will look kind of like you put it into the oven and it's getting cooked. But that's exactly the reaction we want. At this point, I'm also going to season. So I'm going to add some salt and mix it again. Once I have finished mixing it, some people say you have to wait 10 minutes, some people say you have to wait an hour. So I will put it in the fridge. While this goes to the fridge, I'm going to continue preparing everything else. And then we can see how long it was there and we can decide how long we want to leave it there. While my salmon is in the fridge, I'm going to continue preparing my sauce. And for this, I'm going to use the rest of the lime juice. I will add one garlic clove. Usually this recipe would go with serrano chili, but at least here in Finland I cannot find it. If you can find it and you like it more spicy, you can use three or four of those. Personally here I'm using some jalapeno. It gives a lot of flavor and it's not as spicy. I am adding a handful of coriander. This will give a lot of color and a lot of flavor. I'm adding a bit more salt just for seasoning. If you prefer this to be more spicy, you can also use only habaneros. Personally, I have a piece of habanero left over, so I'm going to use that. And you can substitute the whole thing with just habaneros, but I think this combination is good and it will give a lot of flavor, but still have a kick. I am blending everything together for one or two minutes and I'm going to reserve it for later. I'm going to continue now by cutting this cucumber in half. I peeled it, but you don't have to if you don't like to. I'm going to take a spoon and I'm going to remove all the seeds. This is also optional. But if you remove the seeds, I think it looks just way, way pretty when you put it in the plate. So we'll take everything off. I will do the same with the other half. Once we're ready, I'm just going to slice this. You can use as thick or as thin as you like it. I like to cut it like this because I think it gives a nice crunch. It's still really fresh, but it's just a compliment and it won't overtake the flavors. Once I'm done with the cucumber, I'm going to chop a red onion. I'm going to chop it into strips. But of course, if you want to chop it into cubes or however you prefer, it doesn't really matter. It's just a matter of presentation. But I think if you cut it into these strips, it looks way prettier. And when you put everything on the plate, the onion will really stand out and it will look really, really nice. This is how my sauce looks. You will notice it's a bit foamy. It's really green, has a beautiful color, beautiful smell. And now we're going to get to use this. This is how my salmon looks after 10, 15 minutes on the fridge. 
and I'm going to add my sauce. This sauce smells really nice. You can smell the coriander. You can tell it's quite spicy because I can smell the habanero. Here I'm also going to throw in the cucumber and the onion. I want them to get some of this sauce and to get all those flavors in them. At this point now all I want to do is to mix everything. I want that sauce to get everywhere. I want that sauce also to cover the onion because I don't know if you've tried it before but when you have onion and let it soak in some lime it changes the taste it makes it way milder but it's also really nice so we want everything to get all those flavors in there this dish is ready so I'm going to put it into some nice container that I can take it to the table and this is the kind of dish that you should do right before you are going to eat it so in this case it has been in the fridge for 10-15 minutes I can put it into the fridge maybe 10-15 more minutes but I wouldn't want to keep it for way longer because the texture is perfect it's already nicely cooked it's quite safe to eat because the fish was fresh. This is the kind of fish that we would do in Mexico with shrimp or some white fish. But here in Finland you can get really nice quality salmon. It's really fresh, really nice. So of course you can do it with whatever fish you have. For plating I'm just going to cut some avocado and put it on top of it. This dish is really fresh. It's really nice for summer. This is the kind of dish that I can picture myself being on the beach. Having this with maybe some salty crackers with some tortilla chips or something else whatever you prefer and just enjoy these with whatever nice cold drink you want hope you like the video share it with your friends press like subscribe activate the bell all those kind of things and see you in the next one